Well, welcome back to the channel and uh, I've got another review for you today. Today we're on, new for 2021, the uh, the Honda 1100 Rebel. And this is actually the DCT model, so um, yeah, the dual clutch transmission. So I'm just trying to work my way around that at the moment. I think it's in manual to be honest. <laughs> it's going to take some getting used to. Also, there's obviously no clutch. So, uh, very different, very strange, very, uh, obviously it's a street cruiser this, so, uh, I'll let you know in a minute, just need to sort of get used to the bike a little bit, and, uh, yeah, also I haven't really rid rode many cruisers, so, uh, this is all fairly new for me. Perfect day for this again, today. Lovely weather. I think we've got a bit of rain on the way, so, so it's nice to get, get the old reviews in. Yeah, this is actually, by the feel of it, as in, yeah, as in sort of manual. So I've got these switches on this left-hand side here, on the button cluster, that I'm using to change up and down the gears. I think this model is £900 more for the DCT, which, uh, here we go. Ever so smooth as well. He did say that you can just flick it, uh, press the the automatic or manual button. So I'll do that in a minute. Cause a bit of dust about poof, on the roads. Sounds quite nice as well. It's fairly quiet. But yeah, the the the, the riding position anyway. The feet are the pe pegs are sort of mid position on this. Not like you. I don't know, your Rocket, G, Rocket 3 GT, where your, your feet are forward and more of a kind of cruiser riding, riding position. Visibility through the mirrors. I'll just adjust the mirror a little bit. Well, I've got a bike following me at the moment. I've got down a couple of gears. Ah, nice, nice and comfortable. Nice and comfortable. So yeah, this is the big brother of, I believe, the 500. Uh, CC model, this being the 1100, I think it's a 1084 CC to be precise, parallel twin, this does seem really strange without having a clutch lever this side, oh nice Indian there, not so perfect weather for this today, not going to hang about, <laughs> Feels a bit strange sort of leaning over on the cruiser style bike because obviously it's not what I'm used to. So uh Yeah. Different. It's got the L C D dash here as well. This little sort of section here, additional section here with the uh, I think I believe your warning lights in the usual way. Oh, very nice first impressions. Sun shining. Just that mirror a bit more. Once we get rolling, we'll get we we'll get on the um, on the nationals. We'll open them up a little bit. Fuel to fuel tank feels a bit wobbly. I don't know if it's kind of to aid in the uh, the styling. I don't know of the bike, the tank vibrating. It's the cruiser style. I don't know. It's funny shaped tank. What's it like right going over this rail crossing? Actually, not too bad. Not too bad. I'll try the brakes out. Front brake, very good, very good. Front, the front brake. That's right, it's a single disc on this motorcycle. On the front, 330 millimeter, I believe. So you'd like to think, well, you think, kind of think being a single disc on the front there, that you may not have the sort of stopping power. I'm too sure of the weight of the bike at the moment. I said, 
Uh, well, well over 200 kilos, I think, but I'll, I'll go through all the specs. I want to make sure I get them right when I do the walk around of the bike. But yeah, I think this model's 900 pounds more expensive being the DCT. It kind of put a smile on my face when he said it's a DCT model because uh, it's always nice, you know, obviously a nice uh, variety from the usual. Yeah, all I'm doing to change gears purely by these uh, these little trigger levers, triggers or whatever you want to call them on the button cluster. So you've got this one here um, to go up, up the gearbox and this one obviously to go down the gearbox here. Very nice. Very nice. It's actually quite a nice riding position. Nice and relaxed. Nice and relaxed. The arms are quite sort of far, uh, you know, leaning quite far back with this. Uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not too sort of bunched up with the, then sort of my legs, my legs there, but that's quite a stretch to the bars. A lot more than what I'm used to. So you'll have to bear with me a little while because uh, I'm just getting used to it. <laughs> We'll take a different route, we'll go straight on today. Yeah. Very smooth. That gearbox is lovely. Try the back brake, we didn't try the back brake, did we? Actually, yeah, very good. Very good. Try the Try the front brake, nothing behind. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that at all. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Quite comfortable, the suspension's not too stiff. Seat nice and comfortable as well. Very nice. Yeah, I think this is the... Uh, parallel twin. Motorcycle. With the 270 degree um, crank. I think it's more to sort of simulate the V-twin. Uh, I mean, the en I think the engine's... The same engine as the Africa twin, I believe. Just uh, with a few different tweaks here and there. Oh, it's got some, got some torque. It's definitely got some torque. I'll go down a few pegs. Once we get past this crossroads, we'll uh, see what she's like. See so what it's like on these corners here. Better go easy a little bit. <laughs> Actually, not too bad. We've always sort of a kind of a bit worried about scraping the pegs. You know, because you haven't really got the, you know, the same sort of ground, ground clearance as most other bikes. The old pegs are quite low to the to the old deck. Yeah, not too bad at all. Rain it in a bit. It's got all the, the rider modes as well. Uh, what have we got? We're in rain at the moment, so the standard. We're going to sport mode. There you go. So it's changing your power. The traction control, we'll, we'll select that. There we go. Uh, I believe that's on sport mode. Yeah, sport mode there now. So, engine brake in there. So, you've got power, full power. Your traction control uh, looks like it's been reduced. Uh, engine brake in this, uh, this one here. So, it's got temperature here as well. Gear indicator, the rev counter across the top there. Obviously, your speed, your time there. Your range, 81 miles apparently. Oh, a bit of a tight bend here, see how we get on. I want to scrape the pegs. <laughs> very nice, very nice. I'll say we'll pull over in a minute and we'll, uh, I'll give you a walk round of the bike. And I'll go through the, uh, the specs. Like I say, I want to make sure I get them right.
here we go. Seems to be roadworks uh, everywhere. No uh, self-cancelling indicators, I don't think, on this machine. Ah, yeah, it's lovely. Sounds nice as well, just on the sort of the tick over there. It's got anti really and uh, I think that's obviously linked to your traction control. <laughs> very nice sir, very nice. Like I say, perfect weather for this today. Switch, switch gear looks fairly good quality as well. You notice that it's a bit more snatchy on the power there. Now I've gone into sport, uh, sport mode, a bit more. I think it's got the ride by wire throttle. So we were actually riding in rain mode before, so we're now in sport. We'll see what it's all about. See what she's all about. Oh. Yes. Just need to get away from this traffic and now. Uh, here. Lovely. It's actually quite happy just to plod along, you know, at normal, normal sorts of speed. Like I say, it's a little bit more sna not noticeably snatchy in, where's he going, in sport mode. But yeah, overall, you know, seems uh, absolutely fine. It's got some pull, definitely got some pull this slow down. Yeah, the old fuel tank seems a bit loose. I don't know if it's on long rubber, rubber mountains, maybe. I'm not sure. We get through here, and we'll uh, we'll keep a walk around to the bike. We'll run through all the specifications. Just find somewhere to pull over out of the way to cause no bother. <laughs> Oh, a lovely day today. I think we've got a load of rain on the on the way, so sort of grab the opportunity today to uh, about here, pull into the pub here. Not to have a pint, unfortunately, but to uh, oh, it's, it's actually closed. <laughs> Too late. It's a shame, really. Lots of pubs nowadays. Uh, oh, yeah, how about here? Lovely. Oh. oh, okay. Yeah, just trying to work out how to get this uh, well, in neutral. Plenty of grunt. What's it like to get the side stand down? Yeah, not bad, not bad, not bad at all. Let's turn her off here. All right, <coughs> all right. So here we have it: the, the 2021 Honda CMX 1100 Rebel, which is the street cruiser. So the engine, it's, uh, it's actually uh, 1,084 cc single overhead cam, liquid cooled, four-stroke, eight-valve parallel twin with a 270 degree crank and a unicam euro unicam whatever that means <laughs> uh it's euro 5 compliant and the engine will give you 85 brake horsepower at 7000 rpm and 98 newton meters of torque at 4750 rpm that has a six speed wet multi-plate manual transmission although this one this one is the dct model i believe it's about 800 uh, sorry 900 pounds more uh yeah, so the price is coming in at 809, uh, sorry, 800, 8,999, wow, that would have been a cheap bike, <laughs> £8,999 for the normal six-speed model, and the DCT model is available at 9,899, so yes, yeah, so an extra £900. Um, the brakes, so the front brakes, we've got a radial, radial mounted monoblock four-piston brake caliper here with a 330 millimeter floating single disc. And there's nothing wrong with the brakes, nothing wrong with the brakes at all. 
right the rear brakes uh, we have a two single piston caliper tucked away in here with a 256 millimeter single disc not bad not bad at all suspension right the suspension is uh, adjustable for for the preload and it has a 43 43 millimeter cartridge style on the front there and these are actually black as well here the stanchions i quite like that actually they're yeah, quite nice uh so the rear suspension is the uh the preload adjustable uh it's so a preload adjustable twin piggybacked rear shock and they're, they're shower actually yeah so they're, they're fairly good uh good shocks right the wheels you've got 18 inch cast aluminium wheel on the front there and yeah unusually you've actually got a 16 inch on the rear cast aluminium again and this is running on dunlop tires very nice i love the color lovely color this one i think it's the board border red metallic is it and it comes also you can have uh, or gunmetal black yeah very nice very nice it's got the mid-set foot pegs as well uh on here a nice little badge on there dual clutch transmission in there very nice right the dimensions are the, the wheelbase is 1520 millimeter wheelbase with a 28 degree caster angle with a diamond steel frame right the weight weight is 223 kilograms of wet weight uh, so yeah it's not not too heavy not too heavy and you can't notice any of that weight either 700 millimeter seat height uh yeah can't really say much about that <laughs> uh, and the fuel tank is a 13.6 litre fuel tank I oh, so it's a bit wobbly not sure if it's sitting on rubber mounts but yeah got a very nice lcd dash here as well um with uh, an offset 120 millimeter negative lcd instrument display whatever that actually means <laughs> It comes with four riding modes, the usual standard, rain, sport and user. And it's adjustable through this switch here, the mode button. And yeah, it's very nice. Very nice. Just another flick through there. Oh, that's for your, your trip and your range there. So you can go through pressing the select button. So it's got sport, user, rain, standard. We'll leave it on sport. And so you can see it's adjusting your your power, your torque and your engine braking. Just move that through the range there. So rain, you, yeah, just turn, turn the traction control right up, reduce your engine braking, because you don't want to be locking up the back wheel. Uh, power on minimal. We like full power, so we'll leave it on there. Button cluster, yeah, fairly good quality. Like I say, this is a dual DCT model, so you've got your plus and your minus, uh, sorry, your plus and your minus here. Horn, very loud. Sorry everyone. <laughs> um, on this side you've got your usual, fairly basic really. You've got your, your kill switch, start button. Uh, cruise control on this model as well. I believe it's on uh, both the models. So yeah, very nice. Very nice indeed. I'll say uh, the lighting, the rear lighting is uh, LED. Let's turn the hazards on actually. Where's the hazard button? Uh, there. See what we look like with the hazards. I believe it's full LED lighting on here. Yeah, very nice. I quite like that headlight as well. Very appealing this with this kind of halo uh, arrangement there. Very nice. Very nice indeed. There's your two your, your twin parallel engine tucked away in there nicely. Yeah, very nice. Not sure if you can, I think there's a lots of aftermarket components uh, that you can spec the bike out. You know, spec the bike. Little tank in there. Coolant tank maybe. Overflow. Uh, I believe it's got the ride-by-wire throttle as well. Yeah, adjust, adjuster on here for your span of your lever, which is sort of common. Normal arrangement there. Nissan, Nissan brakes. This is master cylinder. Yeah, quite like quite like the colour as well. Very nice colour. 
very nice. Yeah, there's one thing I have noticed is uh, it's got the old traditional steering lock in here, tucked away, uh, like they used to be. And the old key is on this side here. So, uh, right, let's jump back on and ride some more. <coughs> Oh, very warm today, very warm, right side stand up and sport mode, drive, there we go, hold on, what's the turning circle like, very good be careful there's a lot of gravel here last thing what we're doing is dropping the bike it's actually very good very good all right then let's ride some more everyone's looking <laughs> here we go let's just turn that on there Oh yeah, it's on automatic now, so be interesting. See how smooth that is, see how smooth it changes gear. I've done it by, it's got an automatic and manual button there, so you just press that button in. So it's, it's actually um, running through the gears for me. So just sit back, open the throttle and relax. I quite like that. Visibility through the mirrors is pretty good. See a little bit of my... Uh, elbows and shoulders yeah the sport mode is very very punchy we'll take a left here a minute and we'll get on the nationals and now we'll wind her on a bit we'll ring her on and we'll see what it's all about i say it's not it's not a massively intimidating bike size wise Let's take a left here so it's going going down the gearbox nice and smooth not too uh, intrusive there yeah tip her in here Lovely. On the nationals. Yeah, there's no self-cancelling indicators, so I'm a sod for leaving them on. I have to remember to turn them off. Actually, overall, a very comfortable bike. Very, very comfortable bike. Oh yeah, she's got some. She's got some grunt. You can feel that torque. I don't know if I think I might my only niggle would be with it. Uh, I mean there's not many. It's a very nice bike. But I think I do like being a you know, with it being a cruiser, I'd like the foot pegs in the further forwards, like the rocket the Rocket 3 GT. Oh. I quite like that. If you're on if you're on the cruiser. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Rain it in. That's the thing with these bikes, these the, you know the the performance you can be up to sort of some pretty decent speeds before you know it. I wonder if you can oh yeah let you knock down as well using the actual uh, the manual although it's in automatic I'm still I can still use this to knock down the box or maybe even go up the box yeah to go up the box or down Nice, very nice. Actually handles really well. Really well. Take a left here. Yeah, you can't feel any of that weight at all. None of it. Handles lovely. Gorgeous. Very nice. Certainly got some good, some decent pull through the rev range there. And like I say, you can leave it in, you can leave it in automatic, and you can 
uh, shift with it with ease as well. So if you you know if you want to knock down a gear and you know and you're waiting for it to drop down, like now look, you can knock it down one. Not going to go for the overtake manoeuvre here, but yeah, very nice, very nice indeed. I quite like this colour as well. Oh, I've just changed up a gear there. So yeah, so like you're drumming away here and you want to overtake and you you want it to knock down. You can just hit that hit that not uh, not that button. That'll drop you down the box for the overtake manoeuvre. Oh, I'm very impressed. Very very impressed. Like I say, the only niggle I would have with it would be the the pe the, the, the pe position of the pegs. Like I say, being a cruiser, I quite like the the, the feet forward. Uh, obviously not right up there, but. <laughs> <laughs> you know the feet forward to riding position. Nice and comfortable for the pillion passenger on the rear as well, on the back as well. Yeah, no problems with the overtake manoeuvre. It's actually felt very comfortable. Suspensions, I think, um, not too sure on the travel, but. Definitely, definitely uh, very comfortable to ride. It's not a proper bone shaker. Uh, very nice, very, very nice. Take a left here. I quite like this DCT as well. It's a bit weird without the clutch. It's a bit weird without the clutch there, but. Very nice. Lovely road surface here. Makes a change. Oh, I've got to slow down a bit. Oh, we've got cruise control I've noticed here as well. Let's see if we can get through these lights. We don't really want to be sitting in the traffic lights, do we? We'll try the cruise control out in a minute. Once we get through these lights. Nice. I press the cruise control. It'll speed up a little bit. There we go. That's the cruise control on. It's actually quite nice for cruise control. We adjust the, the just it using this stick. I think uh, to turn it off. Pull the brakes on us off. Cruise control on again. Very nice. So actually, you could just leave that on in the background and when you want it just hit the button. This this trigger here. No problem that brakes on, it's disabled it, it's still on in the background but it's obviously not not going to cause you any bother Ooh, some lovely little bends here oh what are the pegs <laughs> I've got I'm a bit paranoid about the pegs I've just been out on my uh, street triple so I've been kind of leaning that over, I don't want to be uh, scraping the pegs uh, so cruise control on again lovely DCT Dual clutch control and traction control. What more could you ask for? What traction control? Uh, uh, cruise control, that's the one. Cruise control. I caught in the moment there. Lovely scenery, lovely scenery out this way as well. We set the uh, cruise control. You can, just, you can see this side here, that's what the cruise control is set to. And it down there 55 mile an hour so you can just leave that on and like I say in the background and uh, you just pull the brake on tap tap the brake and that's disengaged overall yeah very nice very nice very impressed again Honda you always seem to pull it out of the bag um, I'll say there is a 500 cc I think I believe it's a 500 the CMX 500 which was I believe A2 learn illegal 
and yeah this would be the next step up the 1100 I think there was nothing in its class Honda didn't have anything in its class um, you know to compete with the other kind of models in that category so welcome the uh, the CMX 1100 Rebel getting a little bit of cramp in my uh, in my hips there it's probably because I'm getting old though <laughs> The, track, uh, the cruise control up to 55, there you go. Yeah, lovely. It's nice to give your hand that, you know, that, that brake. It doesn't have heated grips. Yeah, that'd be quite nice. Maybe that's an optional extra, you know. But anyway, if you're uh, interested in anything for motorcycle related and uh, you're interested in any more reviews, consider subscribing that would be much appreciated much appreciated and uh, yeah hit the like button if you like like uh, the review or if you got any comments I love I love uh, you know send me through your comments I'll try and get back to you all um, let's get that cruise control on again um, I'll try and get back to you all but like I said there's a lot of comments come through but yeah I, I, I do enjoy reading them and uh, yeah, I'll hopefully welcome you as a new subscriber. I say it's much appreciated, much appreciated. Like I say, it's early days for the channel at the moment. Um, it's coming along nicely. Trying to get new new bike reviews in where I can. Um, so yeah, not really too sure. Like I say, stay tuned because plenty more more coming. Yeah, it does seem definitely seem strange without that clutch. And no uh, gear gear shifter down there. <laughs> That's definitely something that I'm not used to. No, very nice. Like I say, I, I never rode the five. I've never rode, I didn't ride the five hundred, so I'm too sure on there. You know. Obviously, this has got a lot more 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 uh, punch. Oh, I'll put some fuel in and see what she's like to fuel up. Stick some fuel in the bike. Uh, snip in here. There we go. Right then. Ah, lovely. I want to get the old key out. Oh, turn it off. I like the fill, the filler cap tip back nicely because on some bikes they tend to just drop back down again. Uh, what we got unleaded? Don't want to be putting diesel in, do we? Okay. Come on. <laughs> yeah, no problems there. No problems at all. No problems. Take the old gloves off. And go in and pay for the fuel. Lovely looking bike. Lovely looking bike. Yeah, very impressed. Right. Hello. Thank you. Lovely day today. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Well, there you go. No problems with the refuel. All right. Fire her back up. Turn the key on. Ah. Very nice. Right then. So to put it into drive mode, just hit the D and we're off. Easy as that. Easy as that. Sounds lovely.
I quite like that. I definitely like it in the automatic mode. Not so you can just sit back, relax, enjoy the ride. Yeah, full tank of fuel. There's nothing wrong with the brakes. I, 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 the brakes are absolutely fine. I say being a single uh, single disc, mind you, it's a 330 millimeter disc. So not going to have too many issues, are you? And the Nissan brakes are always fairly good. So right, we'll take it back to the dealers. Uh, unfortunately. I could, I could ride this all day. Very comfortable. So yeah, anyway, thanks, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll hopefully I'll see you on the next video. Take care. See you soon.